what is matter matter is anything that has mass and occupies space and it is actually evidence in everything we see and by definition everything in the universe is made up of matter an example of matter includes plants and animals around us even the hell we breathe and ourselves are matter Now in general, matter is built up of one or more of the elementary particles like atom, molecules and ion. And this is actually the building block of every matter. Alright, now let's talk about the properties of matter in chemistry. Substances can be identified by the characteristics they possess. Their characteristics are core properties. These properties of matter can either be physical or chemical change. And in physical in, uh, in the physical properties of matter, this is associated with the matter physical chain. The common physical properties of matter include boiling point, melting points. Alright, in chemical properties of matter, this is associated with the nature of matter when it undergoes a change to form a new substance. Now, the rusting of iron is a chemical property of iron. Matter undergoes changes. These changes may be temporary or easily reversible or permanent and very difficult to reverse. This is known as the physical and the chemical change. Now, the physical change in matter is one which is easily reversible and no new substance is formed. The dissolution of salt can be easily formed and be easily reversed by evaporation. And the chemical changes in matter, this is also associated with the chemical change that is not easily reversible and in which new substances are formed. A piece of fire will burn with flames giving out fire and light which can never be reversed. Now let's compare the physical change and the chemical change. Now, the physical change is easily reversible and no new substance is formed. There is no change in the mass of matter involved. Little or no heat is needed for the change to occur. And in chemical change, it is not easily reversible and new substances are formed. There is also a change in the mass of substance involved. Heat is always involved in chemical change. Thank you for watching this tutorial.